Hi everyone, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing a, another foundation review, but today's going to be mostly like all face on brand. So I'm going to be trying the Studio Skin Foundation by Smashbox along with the um, Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. This is a primer and moisturizer in one and also the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 hour waterproof concealer. So basically like I would say your base stuff which is all kind of like from Smashbox. I'm not sure if the foundation is my colour. I This is why I never reached for Smashbox because I always was between two shades. I have the shade in 4.0. It is a bit warm. I have bought my lightening drops just in case because I don't I'm going to work today so I don't want it to look too orangey on me I have the body shop lightening drops these this doesn't really like change the formula it just lightens the shade which I really like really like I love this stuff on the back of the foundation it says that this is a hydrating foundation which was created in their LA photo studio to look and feel amazing throughout an entire 15 hour shoot so I'm guessing this looks really good on camera. Medium to full buildable coverage. Oil free, controls oil all day. Sometimes I do get oily, you know, because I do moisturise a lot. Sweat humidity and exercise resistant. I'm going to check that because I sweat a lot. Con colour true and transfer resistant and demi matte finish. So before I put the foundation, I need to try the primer first. I probably will put it on one side just to see the difference. Um, and this is... A primary moisturiser in one has got hyaluronic acid and ni niacinamide. It claims to have 24 hour hydration, so it plumps and moisturises, sets in seconds so makeup goes on fast, skin feels comfortable all day. Apply one or two pumps to the face. Can be used with or in place of a moisturiser. So this is what the primer looks like. So that's what it looks like. It's a bit liquidy. It feels like very, feels very watery. But it actually does feel very hydrating. I'm just gonna put my normal Bobbi Brown moisturizer on the other side. It has this slight tackiness to it when it sets. It does set very quickly. This side's obviously much glowy, but it still has a, it has, it's still hydrated, not that badly, you know. I am going to colour correct a bit with my LA Girl Orange Corrector before I go in the foundation. Okay, let's see how this foundation goes on, shall we? Mixing it. Can you see how it might be too warm for me? Just putting a bit of this lightening stuff. Can you see how that's a much better match for me now? Yeah, I'm going to be using this Kiko brush. It's a angled brush, but it has this dense foundation, kabuki kind of feel. I literally have no sponge or brushes. They need a wash. And I don't want to risk having spots, so I'm going to use this clean one. And this is really good because it gives like full coverage effect. So. That looks really nice. A good medium coverage because I can still see some parts of my skin. So I'm going to put a bit more with the lightning drops. I'm just trying to build it up and see if I can get a bit more coverage. So far I'm not mad at the way it looks. It's very skin like. Just dotting a bit more. See if I can get that full coverage. I do have to say that looks really, really good. Like, 
I'm not mad at this. It looks like skin. It's got a glowy finish. Because even on the primer side, it still has that glowy, dewiness to it. Okay, so I'm now going to try the concealer, which is the uh, Studio Skin 24 Hour Waterproof concealer this waterproof hydrating concealer was created in our la photo studio for flawlessly camouflage imperfections light diffusing sweat humidity and transfer resistant apply anyway including under the eyes now i don't have my beauty blender and i always blend my concealer with my beauty blender so i'm gonna give i'm gonna keep that in mind but the concealer looks like this and i have the shade medium dark I think that's a really, I'm really happy with that colour. I'm going to put a bit here. I'm just going to use this Eco Tools concealer brush and just like pat it in. I am very happy with that. I'm just going to quickly set my concealer with my W7 Banana Dreams powder before it creases. I'm just brushing off the excess powder. I do have to say that the concealer blended really well considering I didn't have a sponge. It does have this stickiness to it. I'm going to light it, lightly set it. I don't know, I'm really happy with the way my skin looks. Just even out everything. Right, I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Right, so I just finished my makeup and I went super natural on the eyes. Um, the lip I'm wearing it is um, Kylie Jenner Brown Sugar. I'm still trying to like light this again. I don't know why. I just kind of like pulled myself away from it. It looks good now, but I feel like it oxidizes through that the day. But anyways, we'll see if I still have it by then. Everything seemed to blend really well on top. I mean, the bronzer did go a bit, it was a bit harder to blend than usual, even though I did put a little bit of powder. Um, it definitely has set, it doesn't have that tacky feel anymore. There's no smile lines as of yet, there's nothing. My skin just looks even. Um, I would have to say that it's a bit dry. I feel like by the end of the day, this will separate. So I just see this like proper separating, but it, it looks good, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's definitely medium to full. You can definitely build it. Oil free. There's no... It has a dewiness to it, but it's not tacky or anything. This is a demi matte finish, which I kind of agree with because it sets, but it still has that slight dewiness to it. So I definitely so I definitely agree with that. But the rest I'll see how it goes on then. It's 9, almost 9 o'clock, 9 a.m. I am very happy with the concealer at the moment. I definitely see myself using it. It's full coverage. It just brightens and conceals the under eyes. You don't see those dents under my eyes extreme, like, a lot. I just really like the concealer. I'm very happy with it. The foundation, I'm not too sure yet. And the primer, I definitely see myself using it. I actually really like it. But yeah, it's now almost nine, so I'll be back later on after work. And we'll see how it looks then. Okay, so it's now 7.25. It's been around just over 10 hours now that i've had this on well the primer foundation and concealer my opinion is quite good actually i really really like the overall kind of base um just looking at my skin i do have to say though i did get a like some smile lines throughout the day like i had to touch it up with a brush um but like overall it looks pretty good i feel like it got a bit cakey there where i did properly blend the concealer so make sure you blend the concealer properly but it didn't fade, it's it stayed put, like I didn't even touch, I didn't even need to touch up or anything, like it's all on there. I'm really really happy with the result of this. I don't necessarily see a difference between the primer side and the foundation side. Not even like skin smoothing, it's just the same really, both sides. But I still think it's a really nice and moisturising product because even though I put it on all this side I didn't go dry or anything so it's something that's so lightweight and I can use it even though my skin's super dry and I still didn't go flaky or anything I think that's really really good so I'm I definitely see myself using the primer I really really like the consistency the way it feels on the skin and the way like the foundation sits on top of it I, I know it's the same like with or without but I still like the idea of the product and I don't know I just see myself using it. Um, the foundation is actually really good. It does give smile lines, so bear that in mind. 
um it's not like cakey it's definitely full coverage it is definitely sweat humidity and exercise resistant not like i did any exercise but i do get really like hot on the bus um it didn't go like shiny or anything and even my colleague nina my friend and even my friend nina's colleague she's my colleague and friend but um she was like it looks really matte th than usual so it definitely held up pretty well with that it's oil free so yeah it didn't look oily on my skin especially in my t-zone where i do get a bit shinier sometimes and it's transfer resistant it doesn't come off your hands like the milani 2 in 1 foundation that is transfer um so yeah the foundation i'll probably rate it a an 8 out of 10 because i did get kind of like smart lines with it and that's like my biggest thing that i look for and yeah 8 out of 10 i think that's it's a good foundation it's not my favorite but it still looks good like i would i do see myself using this again and the concealer is actually really really good it didn't crease it's full coverage blends really nice and it stayed put so the concealer i would actually give it a it didn't even go dry i actually really like this concealer a 10 out of 10 it definitely is up there with my urban decay naked skin concealer and my tarte shape tape it's nothing like the two but it's up there it's a good concealer so I definitely recommend this and again I'm in a shade medium dark. So I'm actually overall really really pleased with the products I would say. I've had so many requests to do this foundation review. So I hope you guys found this video really helpful and write in the comments um, if you have tried this foundation and what your thoughts are on it. Um, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!